So then you also mentioned the word balance. So how does one person balance all that and still have that inner peace and that contentment, that uh, that happiness of life? Wow. The answer to this question, I hope that many can really uh, benefit from because I often ask my own self, you know, the my gratitude for the ability to be in that space of inner peace and joy in the interim of all the deadlines and all the things that needs to be submitted and commitments that I put myself in, uh, that it's all something that I'm very passionate about. So answering your question, to begin with, there's two things I love. I love to challenge myself and do something that is not too scary maybe, but scary in a way that actually challenges me to just jump and give it a try and see where I go. That I look at failure as feedback and it is an armor for me for building my resilience and power for my next step forward. So, so many times I would I was asked to write an article in such a short period of time on a topic. Mm-hmm. And you know, I set boundaries and things that I feel that that is not going to add value to my time or other people's that I'm serving and in uh, in knowledge or information or shared, uh, you know, wisdom, anything of that nature. But I always like to say yes to things that help me grow and help me reach and help me also learn. And the time that I'm, every time we teach, we're learning. Every time we're learning, we are able to teach. So it's a beautiful space also that we get involved in. So being passionate about what you're doing, doing it from an intrinsic motivation with genuine, genuine interest to the topic that you're serving or the people or the organization. Mm -hmm. For some reason, like literally sometimes I don't know where my energy comes from after doing these Zooms and the article and the writing and the, and the podcast mm-hmm. and the interview. And, and I have one more thing and I'm like, oh, that's going on now. It's because it's the love of what you do, the love of serving humanity unconditionally mm-hmm. for a good cause. I'm a holistic thinker. And every decision I make, I look at it, how I can grow, how can I help others grow from it? And is this something that could be for the betterment of all as well when it is something involving others? Mm -hmm. And that gives me a very, very clear conscious for myself, to my standards. And that makes me have that inner peace where before I go to bed every night, I have clarity of how my day went. I am accountable to my journey. I don't need someone to tell me unless I feel I need the feedback. If I did something that could be improved, I'm willing to learn and listen. But I'm on that journey every day to see what I did during the day and how I, you know, could have done better in other times and how satisfied I am in other times on the effort I put. So basically having that self-awareness and being passionate of what you do is going to be very, very, very supportive for your inner peace. And then from there, just be genuine, genuine to yourself. Be true to yourself. Be true to the things you're saying yes to. Why are you saying yes to that? Why? Is it because of outside things that you want to show others is it because you feel it's helping you grow is it because this growth is going to allow you to do more in serving whatever the reason is for you it's good enough but be clear on that and love what you do it just makes the journey more fun